how can you tell if you have a symptom, how do you know if you're getting better or getting worse? A symptom can superficially be the same, put the same, it could be a headache, it could be frequent urination, it could be uh, a flu-like feeling. It doesn't matter so much what the symptom is, but it does matter the whole context. Things we look at to, to differentiate that include, what have you been doing? Have you been doing something new for your healing? And then that may have triggered the symptom? Well, that causality of time sequence can be a clue that, oh, well, I just started taking a new set of remedies, so I'm accelerating my healing process. So maybe this is a cleansing reaction, a healing reaction called, where we're stirring up the deposits of toxins in the body, moving them out through the circulation, and while they're moving around, we feel them. Often, we can, many times we might feel like this is something that I've experienced before. It's like, I feel like I did when I was a certain age or in a certain situation. This is an old symptom. An old symptom returning, that's part of the context. That tells us it's more likely I've done something to stimulate healing and I feel some symptom maybe that I've experienced before that now we're maybe moving out the underlying cause of that symptom that we were exposed to in the past that we weren't able to completely heal at that time. Imagine if you went on a diet or if you started an exercise program. You might feel something. You might feel achy. Oh, I felt achy before. Okay. I've just started exercising. Oh, that's the reason. So this is a healing process. It's not a disease process. You're not going downhill. You're going up that same hill. You're improving your health. So that context is very important. We look at the context of how, how are you on the level of your spirit and your mind. These are, are more core to you. Your body, you have temporarily in this life, your mind and your spirit are immortal. So that's more who you are. And if you're feeling better at a core level of, of your mind, your spirit, if your mind is clearer, for example, but yet your, your back hurts and you're urinating frequently, there's an unusual smell and color to it. Well, there's something coming out that's being eliminated. We say better out than in. And be thankful. Don't, you don't want to necessarily push it harder. Take it easy. You want to have plenty of fluids, especially water, especially micro water, which we'll be learning all about. It's alkaline, antioxidant, smaller water clusters, penetrates through your tissues and cells ten times better than other water. That's important for the antioxidant protection, for the alkalinity that balances the acidity of toxins and wastes, and the small cluster of says a better solvent to bring in nutrients, a better solvent to bring toxins out of the body. So better support, rest, water, proper water, uh, and, <clears throat> and, and talk to us, whether it's by, by phone, by email, let us know what is happening, if you have a new symptom or change in symptoms, so we can help guide you as to which remedies you're taking that might be stimulating the detoxification, like an herbal solvent, let's say, versus which ones might have an antioxidant, uh, anti-inflammatory, protective kind of function. You might want to increase certain ones or, or for drainage to help toxins get out of the organs. So certain drainage and support and protective remedies you might want to increase or keep going. And you might want to stop or, or reduce the dosage or frequency or both of remedies that are more stimulating of detoxification. We can help you identify that.